crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, <laughs> long time no see. So um, it's been a while since I've put up a video and I apologize for that. Um, there has just been a lot going on. Things have been really busy. Um, I've been trying to settle into my new work schedule. And of course, um, being a nanny always entails you know, planning activities and things like that. So I've been busy trying to um, look through my supplies and figure out which things um, I can pull out to bring in um, to my job. Because of course, like I want them to be age appropriate and developmentally appropriate. And so there's all that that I've been trying to do and I've had to go out and um, buy some things which of course the family, anything that, um, like I have certain supplies that I keep here at my home that I use over and over again with each family I work for. Those are my things that I've bought and paid for and I've decided to just keep them so that I can reuse them with other families. But things like construction paper, glue, paint, um, crayons, you know, art supplies that are always having to be replenished <clears throat> excuse me those are things that I do not buy and keep myself those are things that I either ask the family to purchase or I will go out and purchase them and they will reimburse me so um yeah so basically last weekend I went out to we were actually at the mall for one thing and there happened to be a dollar store there. So I went into the dollar store and got a few things. And then we went to Ikea um, because I like their paint smocks. Um, they actually sell bibs that are like miniature versions of their paint smocks because pa the paint smocks that they have are way too big for one-year-olds. So I just bought one of their bibs as a smock. Um, and we had lunch there, which it's been a while since we've been to Ikea. And occasionally I like going there like just to, to dine because A, the prices are really good for food. And B, like I absolutely love their Swedish meatballs. So, <laughs> so we ended up having lunch there. And then um, on Monday when I went to work, it was a nice day. So went for a walk in the morning. Um with the child I'm looking after and um, so we went up to the dollar store near there and got the rest of the things and then from there we went over to the park for a bit before lunchtime and then um, the mom reimbursed me for everything so I've been busy with that I've been busy getting some things done around the house and then this week, the week that I was hoping to get back to filming, um, cause I'm off Tuesdays and Thursdays, well, Alex got sick and so he was pretty much home all week. He had a really, really bad cold. So the first day that he called in and stayed home, um, I decided I didn't want to do any filming because I didn't want to disturb him. He was trying to get as much sleep as he possibly could and I didn't want to make any noise so I just got some other little things done um, that were quiet <laughs> and then um, Thursday he was still home but he was feeling better so I was going to film and then all of a sudden we started hearing all this noise from next door so our next door's neighbor's house is attached to ours um, and so all of a sudden we're hearing like this hammering and it was like nonstop hammering. 
And at first I thought it was the people that live upstairs from us, but then we realized they weren't home. So we figured it was the people next door. We looked out and sure enough, there was like um, a truck for like a construction company outside. And so it was all day, bang, bang, bang. And then we were hearing like drilling and sawing and like all this construction. And so I was like, there's no way I can film <laughs> because it's so loud that it's just going to be so annoying to listen to in the background of my video. So I was like, oh, well, what, maybe when I come home from work on Friday, because Fridays I get out at three. So I'm usually home by about four, just after four. I was like, oh, I can film when I get home. No, nope, came home and it's still all this loud construction. And it went on until about seven o'clock at night. And then it was like, I didn't feel like filming at that point because it was like, well, by the time I film and edit, it won't even upload in time to go up like on Friday. So I was like, forget it. I just took the evening to relax, watch my TV shows. So today is Saturday and it's been quiet today. So I don't think they're working there today. So I'm going to get some videos in while I can because I don't know if, <coughs> excuse me, if next week it's going to be back to construction sounds. <coughs> excuse me. So anyways, Alex is feeling much better. He still has like a little bit of congestion, but overall he's a lot better. And um, yeah, so anyways, he's visiting his friends and he's good. So I am coming on, as you can see, to show you um, a haul, sort of a haul slash trade. Um, now, before I dive into this, another thing I wanted to mention is a while back, uh, after I got my first big American Girl haul after Christmas, I did put Mary Ellen in her new snowsuit. And I took her out front of our house to do some photos. And it was the first time I photographed my American Girl doll outside. And it was perfect because there was still some snow left on the ground. And the people that live upstairs put these rocks out front around the tree that initially I was like, these things are so ugly. Why are they putting them there? But you know what, guys? They ended up being great photography props, like for background. Um, it almost looked like she was on a nature walk in the woods. So I want to share those pictures with you guys because I was going to do a video about them separately, but it would be such a short video that it would be pointless. So I'm going to show you guys those Mary Ellen's photo shoot. There you can see all her pictures. I absolutely love the outfit on her and the quality as I was dressing her in it, the quality of that outfit became even more apparent than it did when I first opened it. Like all the little details and buttons and clips and the fabric and oh, it, it's got to be one of my favorite American Girl outfits. 
So anyways, let's get started. So before I dive into this half, we're gonna look at this half first. So I'm just gonna turn the camera a little bit. And um, so Carter's was having like a 50% off sale, which is so rare. Like that is so rare for it to happen. So I couldn't resist getting a couple of things in celebration of me finding a new job. So, um, the first thing that I got in size newborn is this adorable turquoise onesie and it's got the little ruffled sleeves and look at the llama on it. It's so cute with little flowers on her ear and then there's a little bird on the back and then it comes with these adorable um navy blue shorts with little pink and blue flowers all over them so i think that's going to be super cute on one of my newborn babies i'm kind of i kind of have Haley in mind for it because she is um she has full limbs so she can wear sleeves like this i i think i considered getting it in Maisie's size but i thought you know what like Maisie has so many clothes it's not even funny. So then this one is a new line that I've noticed at Carter's and it's called Little Planet Organics by Carter. And I bought this in the preemie size for Zoe. I thought this would be so cute on her. It's just a white sleeper with these beautiful um, peachy kind of flowers and blue flowers all over it and I just thought that would be really cute for the spring and then we've got this romper for the summer and this one I again bought in newborn size I hope it will suit um Haley because again it's the ruffle sleeves and she has full limb limbs now I don't know I'm keeping my receipt because I'm going to try it on her and if it doesn't suit her I will return it because I don't know if this will suit any of my other babies they would have to wear um, a short sleeve onesie underneath for it to work but I can try and see I don't think they had any left in stock for uh, Maisie's size but anyways it's like a mustard kind of yellow and um, but more on the bright side and then it has these little white butterflies all over it and it's got these cute little pockets on the front so I thought that would be cute for the summer and then finally I got something for Grace so it does have a diaper cover cover so as you can guess it's probably a dress <laughs> And I couldn't resist. And again, I'm going to have to try this on her because I don't know if I'm going to need to size up or not. I don't think I will, but just in case. So it's like um, a bright pink cotton dress. So just like a very casual summer dress. And it even has like the rolled up sleeve effect. And guys, it's got llamas all over it. How cute is that like I could not resist that it ugh, gosh guys llamas are everywhere these days I don't know how it got started but Nicole and I have this inside joke with the llama thing and it was almost like as soon as our joke came about llamas are everywhere now and so it even it just it's just made our inside joke even more hilarious because we find all this stuff and it's so funny. Um, then the other thing I got, um, American, uh, not American Girl, Indigo was having a sale. And there was a couple of items that they had on clearance that I wanted to buy as gifts for people. So obviously I'm not going to show you those. And I didn't, it didn't total enough to get me free shipping. And the items were so inexpensive that I, like, I couldn't bear to pay shipping on them. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead 
and get Mary Ellen's back to school outfit because I have been really wanting it since it came out. So I added that in my order to get the free shipping. So there's a picture of it. And let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Because I know you guys like to actually see them. So give me one second. It's taped closed. Okay, so let me just put this here, the box down here. Okay, so first things first, it's, um, oh, it's like, I didn't realize it was going to be really stiff. It's like that stiff cotton. Don't particularly like the feel of that, but it's a beautiful looking dress. It's white with blue and red bows all over it. A blue sash and I love the Peter Pan collar on it that is super adorable um, and then we've got this gorgeous blue cardigan to put over it and it has these little white X's sewn in there and guys it's an actual button oh my gosh and then we have a beautiful red bow to put in her ponytail. Some little bobby socks, which is cute. Her, um, her snowsuit came with little bobby socks as well. And these adorable red Mary Jane type shoes with little bows on them and the bows have white polka dots. Oh, I love this outfit. I think it's gonna look beautiful on her. It's very patriotic. I'm Canadian, so it's kind of like, you know, it's not really Canadian colors, but they are American girl. <laughs> so it only stands to reason. This could be a, a, like a 4th of July outfit. I know it says it's her back to school outfit, but it looks like a 4th of July kind of outfit, which is fine. I have on occasion had 4th of July outfits just so that our babies can pay tribute to our U.S. friends and viewers. Um, so we have done that. So maybe that's what Mary Ellen will do this year on my channel. Um, okay, so the next items I'm about to show you, I'm going to move the camera over again. So, um, this past weekend, so, well, it's Saturday now, so last Saturday, um, we went to Marilyn's house for a doll day. So it was me, Paula, Diana, and Caroline, and, um, of course, Marilyn. So we all went to her house to do a doll clothes exchange. Um, so we all brought, Marilyn has tons of baby clothes she's trying to get rid of. We all, of course, know as collectors, we're constantly trying to get rid of baby clothes. We buy more, we sell, we buy, we sell. It's the whole process of this hobby. Um, so she invited us. She said, if feel free, if you have some clothes that you'd like to try to sell, come and bring them. So I guess like the original intention was to sell our clothes to each other. But then as it's, as it turned out, like some of us did do that, but then some of us, it worked out that, you know, so-and-so had picked out like, okay, for example, so Marilyn had picked out a certain number of items from my bag. And then I had picked out a certain number of items from hers and it worked out that like it was basically the same value. So in that case, we didn't bother exchanging money. We just basically did a straight trade of items. Um, and so as it turned out, it worked out that way overall. Um, I ended up not having to pay anything. So, um, so here we go. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think who I got what from. So let me go through, I think, okay, I think these top items are from Maryland. So first off, even though um, 
Marilyn gave me a car seat canopy for Christmas that has Bambi on it, which I absolutely love and will use. I also really loved um, this Aiden and Aeneas car seat canopy, and I have actually always wanted one of the muslin material ones, and I'm actually planning to get rid of my purple uh, car seat canopy plus the um, car seat cover and I've just decided I'm going to get rid of it as well as the car seat that it's currently on and just go down to having the one car seat so that I don't have to have my extra car seat in storage and like have to keep pulling it out when I want to take it to the mall. Um, so I just thought it would be cool to have two different lightweight car seat canopies that I can alternate between the two. So this one is the muslin material and it's got these cute little elephants on it. So super adorable. Also, Marilyn actually gifted this to me. Um, it was actually, there was a set that she gave me. So it was um, this cute thumper sleeper and then as well as a onesie with a bib, I believe. And um, that evening, Paula was boxing up one of her dolls to, that she was selling to my friend, Nicole. Um, so stay tuned because I believe Nicole will be posting a box opening video of that doll on her channel. And she had already told me that she was going to do bunnies as her baby's theme. So I decided to split the set in the end and give Nicole the um, onesie and the bib. And I kept the sleeper because it's so cute. It's like a, a pink with um, yellow feet, yellow, I don't know, ribbing where the snaps are. And then it's got this cute picture of Thumper with a flower and it says Thumper. And this is Disney baby size newborn, but it looks big. I'm kind of hoping it will fit Maisie because I think it's going to be too big on my newborn babies. So hopefully it fits her because otherwise I'm not sure um, what I'll do with that because um, it's so cute. And then also from Marilyn, I got um, this was one of the things that we traded for. Um, so this is Joe Fresh three to six months. So these are for Maisie. I absolutely love these um, Fair Isle leggings. I think they're so cute in the winter. So these are pink ones. It's got little hearts. It's got some grays and beiges in there. So those are really cute. And then I found this set. And this is a Gymboree size forget what size it is I think it's a three to six if memory serves oh it's a zero to three Gymboree zero to three and she paired it with these um, denim shorts but these are not um, these are three to six and um, they are not Gymboree brand but anyways I mainly got it because of the shirt. I absolutely love the shirt. It's like a little red button-up cardigan. And it's got these little ruffles at the bottom and around the neck and around the sleeves. And it's like a gathered sleeve. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's got a poppy on it. So I thought this was actually cute for like Remembrance Day. Because um, I don't have anything like that for my babies. I mainly got it for the top. I'm not sure if I'll end up keeping the shorts. They have little ruffles on the butt, which is cute. Um, they're like little cutoff shorts. But I have lots of shorts already. So I might just um, get rid of those. And then from Diana, I got... I traded her because she got some things of mine. I traded her this newborn size sweater it's a from Carter's and it's this beautiful gray button-up sweater and it's nice and thick really well made now I right now I haven't usually been buying any more newborn boy clothes because I got rid of Jeremy and he was my only newborn size boy but I do have a kit that I'm eyeing 
I still haven't 100% decided if I will go with this kit and add this kit to my collection. But if I did, it would be a newborn boy. So I could use this for it. Although it does look a little large. So I'm wondering if it actually might fit Landon or Joshua. And I might still be able to use it with that. Um, so there's that. And then she did also give me a couple of other things which I forgot to bring here. So I will go and grab them at the end. But this was from Paula. And actually this was a gift from Paula. So we have this mayoral outfit. And um, I, I'm not sure what size. Oh, it says four to six months. So it should hopefully fit Maisie. It's these beautiful knit pants in like a taupe and white stripe with a cute little pink trim at the bottom. One of her babies was wearing this one day and I just oohed and awed over it. So when she decided to get rid of it, she asked me if I wanted it. And then it's a beautiful knit shirt that has cute little pockets and a little teddy bear coming out of one pocket. And it's the same coloring. It's like a white with like a taupe color and then the pink um thing yeah <laughs> i can't think the trim the trim the pink trim and then she had this adorable thing for halloween it is a fairy princess dress so it's got you know, this beautiful tulle skirt with pink and white and cream colors. And it has little wings on the back in green. And then it has a little, a green flower with a little pink, with pink in the middle. And I think that's so cute. Now it is spaghetti strap. So obviously the baby will have to have a onesie underneath, but that's okay. So, um, I forget what size it is. Let's see. It says three to six, so I guess this will be Maisie's costume. Um, yeah, I guess it'll be Maisie's costume for Halloween. I think she's going to look adorable in that. So there is that. Now let me go and grab the other two things that um, Diana gave me. Okay, guys, so the final two things that I got from Diana was this wooden pacifier clip the round part that clips on is a pink color and then there's lavender and like plain wood color beads so I thought that was really cute and then she also gave me this um monkey pacifier clip with a monkey pacifier which is really cute so that is that and then I have to laugh about something guys so every year it seems every year without fail when I put away our Christmas decorations I always think to myself okay before we put all the boxes back in the storage let me just double check everything in our apartment to make sure that I haven't missed anything that has to be put away like any Christmas items. And I do this every year and I think, okay, good. I've got everything. Everything's put away. Let's put the boxes away. And every single time I will find one item that I forgot. But this year, guys, this year, I was so sure. I was so positive that I had found everything. I was like, I really double checked everything. I double checked checked our Christmas hand towels, our Christmas, like everything that I hang up on the wall. Like, I mean, I scoured everything in our apartment and I was like, yes, this is it. This is the year that I'm going to get everything put away and not forget anything. I did it. I did it. Well, <laughs> I went to change Joshua for Valentine's Day into his Valentine's Day outfit, which I am going to show you his Valentine's Day outfit in uh, the next video. I'm going to change him and talk about something. <laughs> Guys, 
when I went to pick him up out of the bouncy chair, what was Joshua holding in his hands? Rudolph. <laughs> he was holding Rudolph. I was like, no, <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. Oh my gosh, guys. I think it's just because like, I forgot it. Like I had him holding Rudolph and I was kind of like, oh, you know, um, my dolls are always like in the same spots and I'm just so used to them being there that I just didn't even think to look at them to see what items like because I do have Christmas baby items that I use as props with them and I didn't even think to check that. <laughs> so guys, we still have Christmas here. <laughs> Rudolph is hanging out. Oh my gosh. I just, I couldn't believe it. I was like, really? I was so sure that this was the first year that I finally had everything put away and I didn't forget anything. And then I found Rudolph. <laughs> next year, next year, I'll get it. I will, I will get it. And next year will be 12 years of this. And I'll finally get it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So anyways, um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So before I sign off on this video, I'm going to leave you guys with some pictures that I took at our doll day where we were trading clothes and everything. So you'll get to see all of us ladies that were there with our reborns. So Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos that I post. And I hope you enjoy our pictures. Thanks, guys. Bye.